is up Yosha recruits my name is Mitch and you are watching two of the new MW3 game types the first one is one in the chamber and the second one is called all or nothing so what I really want to talk about today is those negative situations that we all get into the regrettable ones where you say man I wish I would have done something and those are the really really tough situations that stick with you no matter what happens in your life uh, like something really simple like helping someone out or holding a door for someone with a wheelchair or something like that and if you don't and you just keep going by just neglecting the fact that they may need help you will like it's one of those situations you feel bad about it and I read a comment somewhere on a video of this guy who was at a subway and there was a homeless man and he was also a blind homeless man and he was trying to find his way to the bathroom and he was bumping into things and having a really tough time and finally someone else in the subway got up and helped the man to the bathroom and the person that wrote the comments said that he felt bad even up to the up to the day that he wrote it about not helping out that homeless man so it's, it's one of those really regrettable situations that honestly has no real value to you if you were to help them but has a tremendously negative value towards you if you don't help them now I think it's very easy to help people if you just go by a simple process if you see a situation where someone needs help, you ask yourself quickly, does this situation negatively impact me in any way, shape, or form? And if the answer is no, then go ahead, help them. I mean, it's just holding a door for someone. It will help, it, it will clear their day, it will make their day a little bit better, and it has no negative impact on you. And if anything, it will make you feel good in the end. But if it does have a negative impact on you, like for example, it embarrasses you, or it's in front of a group of people and you're scared, well, just think about it. Is is the little bit, the five seconds of embarrassment, worth helping that one person and maybe making their entire day or week better? Because honestly, I think that it's completely worth it. It's a little bit of sacrifice on your part for their gain. And if you think about sacrifice, if they need help doing something simple like opening a door, they've done more sacrifice than you will ever have to do to give them a little bit of help in the situation. And we all have negative situations. It happens to the best of us where we all have a regrettable situation. And for example, one of mine is with a girlfriend. I was like in grade 8 and I wasn't really sure how to go about it. And I had my hand on her bum or something. Like It was completely ridiculous how stupid the situation was like I look back on it now and I'm like whatever it's a, it's not a big deal but after it happened I completely felt terrible about it because I made her feel uncomfortable for me wanting to touch a butt like I, and it's a ridiculous situation but it's always been a regrettable one and it actually bugged me so much that three years later like just this year I um I said sorry to her for it and she laughed at it but she actually appreciated it so we both remembered it so it's just one of those regrettable situations but that just goes to show that you can make situations better even if you feel bad about it but this is by the way this is the all or nothing game type and I completely destroy these kids but so you can always you can always fix the situation I mean even if you can't directly do it to that one person you can do it to someone else if you see someone struggling and you don't help them I mean there's always someone else struggling everybody needs help at some point in their life and there will always be someone around to help them and you can be that person to choose to help them or not another situation that I was in is the elevator at my school there's people at every well any public place with any like walking deficiencies or injuries or on crutches or a wheelchair or whatever it may be and they they have pro they have troubles getting obviously upstairs or through elevators and um, at my school there's always people going in and out of the elevators and I never thought to help them out with the door it was just it was just a whatever I just keep going but one time I finally learned what it was like to be in the situation they were and for example what I mean by that was I broke my leg in the last few years and I had to use the elevator and I was on crutches and I only, you only realize how bad it is w until it happens to you I mean you don't notice until then I had to open the humongous metal door and it wasn't one that opened like side to side it was like a push door and it was a really really big metal one and uh, I had to open that on crutches every day with a broken leg and it was a humongous struggle and you know you only realize how bad it is for someone once you're in their shoes but so I, every day after that and I still do it up to this day if I see the elevator door coming close to opening or opening or someone struggling with it I will stop or go back or rush forward to open the door for them because if there's anything I feel bad about it's that door I mean I struggled with three months of it and it's it's one hell of a door I'll say that much 
So, if you guys think that you can help someone, might as well do it. I mean, what what is there to lose in helping someone? And right here, I completely go on a tear. I just sit behind this little truck thing, or I think it's called the lift, or I don't know what it is. And just completely get, get a big old tear going. But, yeah, I don't usually do serious commentaries like this, but I was feeling inspired, and I thought I would. So if you guys like this or it inspired you or it's actually going to help you in some shape, form, or way, I think I said that backwards, then please say it because, um, you know, I have a lot to say about serious topics, except I try and stay, you know, loose and it's like a, in a whatever situation on my channel. But, you know, if people like serious topics, then I'd love to talk about them. So the game type's over here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to come and check out my channel, I'd appreciate that a lot. Thanks again, Yosh Recruits, and I'll talk to you guys later.